What is up guys? So in today's vlog I will discuss why you should never cheap out on a floor jack. In the beginning of our shop, not this shop, we got another shop before this one, we had a small small budget. And that's why we cheaped out on a floor jack. And today I will give you five reasons why you should never do it. So here you go. One of the main reasons okay this is such terrible lightning. I try that. Okay, so one of the main reasons we bought another floor jack is because ours didn't go high enough. We got some jack stands, which were going about, I think, 55 centimeters, something like that. And our floor jack only goes about 35 centimeters. So that's, that's nothing. So that's why we bought another one. So that is my number one reason why you should buy or not cheap out on a floor jack. Let me show you. So this is our new one, obviously. <laughs> this is our old one. I will check up to the max height. Well, here you see. Height max 35 mils. This one goes to 64 uh, centimeters. Uh, sorry, centimeters of course, not mils. 64 centimeters. Well, do I have to explain myself any further? <laughs> Come on, let's get a better view. Yep, that's about double the height. So, number one reason why I should never cheap out on a floor jack, the jack height. So, the second reason why I should never cheap out on a floor jack is the minimum height of your floor jack. Well, if you're anything into the car business and you want to lower your car you need a low floor jack of course so our new floor jack well according to the manual this is seven centimeters from the ground so seven centimeters is uh, three of them of course then this one it's not that much higher of course i think this was about here minimum is 98 mils so almost nine centimeters but as you can see this floor jack it can go way deeper into your car under your car instead of this one and we had a lot of issues because we couldn't get deep enough under our cars to jack it up so that is reason number two the minimum height of your floor jack. Reason number three is not something very important I think but it's always kind of handy. So the third reason is the jack speed. I will demonstrate how long it takes to jack up that piece of crap. This one okay this is a little bit of a cheaty bastard because you have this uh, speedy pedal I call it. So I will show you and start. So I think I proved my point there. <laughs> it isn't important as I just said, but it kind of is also. Okay, sorry I'm so sweating. It is so damn warm in here. So yeah, with only a few strokes. Okay, it came out wrong. With only a few strokes, you can get your pole up. 
So, third reason, check speed. So this camera is almost getting kind of hot. It's the Canon G7X, by the way. And it's like the third time I've got this while I bought this camera that I've got the memory fault, memory card fault because of my camera just getting too hot. So I'm gonna put you guys in the fridge for like half an hour. So don't worry. Okay, bye bye. The fourth reason why I should never cheap out on a floor jack is the lowering system. On this 70 euro floor jack, the system isn't that great and definitely not stable enough. So, you gotta pull out the hole, put it on the nozzle and then turn it. So that's something I do not like. But as you can see, I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm turning, doing nothing. But when your car is on the jack, I can swear to you guys, it's like doing nothing, doing nothing, doing nothing, and it's, whoo, it's down. See? So our new floor jack has a much better and more stable system. The only thing you gotta do is turn on the pole. It's kind of the same system as that one, where you gotta put the pole around the nozzle, and then turn, this is already connected to that nozzle, but this is much more stable going down. It's not like... <sighs> Okay. Definitely a reason why I should never cheap out on a floor jack, the lowering system. Reason number four. So that brings us to the fifth, fifth and final reason why I should never cheap out on a floor jack. I do say that a lot, cheap out on a floor jack, but <laughs> that's what the video is about. Okay, so the fifth reason, I think please, the fifth reason is the material quality. As you guys can see, this is some thin metal plate and it's definitely not that solid. I don't know why I've ever trusted my car with this, but okay. But to compare, look at this one. It's almost almost my finger thick and here it's not even... You get a point. Also, this one only weighs 14.3 kilograms and the other one I will show you on the box, so I'm not lying to you guys, 56 kilograms. Well, that's a huge difference. Okay, it's a pain in the ass to drag around, but if you're gonna trust your car on your floor jack, please guys. Believe me, trust me, and buy a decent floor jack. We paid for that crappy one like 70 euros, I believe. And for this heavier one, heavy duty one, we paid like, um, see I'm not lying to you guys, I think 240, 250, like that. So it's a huge difference, but it's definitely worth it. First of all, if you got a lowered car, definitely worth it. Just if you love your car in general, because you don't want to get it destroyed by your floor jack. Okay guys, this was it for today's video. I'm waving my hands a lot. I know, I'm sorry, I'm trying to work on it. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope it meant something to you guys. You learned something from me. You don't make the same mistakes as we did. By cheaping out on a floor jack, again the same sentence, I'm sorry. But I see you guys in the next video. Peace out.